Good morning, my loves, and welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. So, guys, um, today I'll be reorganizing my kitchen, okay? And I don't know, I really hope I have the energy to do all that I have in mind to do for my kitchen. So, I'll be reorganizing my kitchen and taking you on a kitchen tour. <laughs> this video is long overdue, okay? It's really, really long overdue, but I think that um, I have to do it nonetheless. I don't know how long this video will be because, you know, I am just filming and Sasha, if it's very long, <laughs> watch it till the end, okay? You will definitely enjoy it. Trust me. So, yes, that's all I have for today. How are you all doing? How's it been going? So, uh, let's start. So these are, um, what's it called? These are Nutella cups, tiny Nutella cups, okay? And they are definitely reusable. So I plan using them to put all these spices, okay? Put all my spices in these cups, okay? Just so I have a little bit of a clean cabinet when I open to look at, do you understand? So that's what we'll be doing um, for now. I already, they already have these tiny stickers on them, okay? They already have these tiny stickers on them. So all I need to do is, after putting them, I just label on this sticker what each, um, what each, um, is it called it meant or what do they call it? What, what each one stands for, what each one is. <laughs> English is difficult, my friends. So yeah, that's what we'll start by doing, okay? <laughs> So yeah, since the um, the stickers on the containers were too little and they still had things written on them, I decided to, um, you know, make do with what I have with my own, you know, make my own stickers, right? That's what the paper is about. So all I'm doing here is just cutting them to very tiny sizes so that I can paste them on the container. So that's my own way of doing my, you know, label for each container that I have. Yeah. You are 
So guys, I got these um, airtight containers for pasta, the different pastas I got from Chuma. You saw that on the um, previous video. So yeah, um, those are where I, those are the containers um, in which I decided to put the pasta, okay? So we have these different ones and i decided you know what since i don't have um, beverages in my house now i decided to just make do with those for pasta so i'm sure when i'm done with those pasta i don't think i would want to you know refill pasta in those cans i'll just use them for beverages but for now that's what these cans are for and i really love them i love that they are very well secured and airtight i really love them so yeah that's what I decided to do. So guys, this is what we have after arranging. Um, in this part, we have a coconut flakes, sugar, pasta. This is colored pasta from my pasta friend <laughs> that traveled. Yeah, pasta, 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 pasta. Like these are different varieties of pasta. So inside it there, in there we'll have a sponge, washing sponge and sea. That usually take just behind the pasta are empty bowls okay that's just where i choose to store my bowls then down here i have palm oil that i labeled i have the palm oil at the back because right now i don't have what to pour that in so i'll just leave it there okay so i have um thin tomato i have this um tomato ketchup i have some other thing i think this tomato ketchup is going to be in the fridge it's going to live here and be in the fridge i'll put that in the fridge so I have soy sauce, crayfish, and all these other labeled um, condiments that I use for cooking. Okay, salt. And then here I have my old <laughs> blender that spoiled. I've refused to let go of. So yeah, it's going to stick with me. Okay. Behind that I have corn flour and um, corn flour and uh, what what else? Corn flour. Um, I think another pepper that I've not. I don't have energy to label, and I also ran out of this sweet little jars okay so i'm going to just leave this at this guys i've done a lot of work today for this one okay so let's go on to the next one which is arranging the rest of the kitchen see you hello my loves and good morning how are you all doing so guys um this is the next day and the kind of work i did in this kitchen i am still sore from all that i did most of the organizing off camera because um i just could not juggle between you know filming and doing all that and it was serious work that i had done in this kitchen okay so do not worry guys i already showed you um the part where i was you know <clears throat> um what is it called labeling my um 
spice containers right yeah i already showed you all that and um i think i showed you i was sorting out the box i don't know if i filmed that i don't know if i filmed that honestly i'm really 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 um saw from the whole walk so you can see my kitchen from behind everything is looking spark and spin do not worry about that tea on my fridge that's because i'm about to take that tea with my ginger this morning and yes so um let's do this tour so when you come in from this door <laughs> you come in from this door this is the sink this is that's my chopping board which is still wet and waiting to dry and then this is the place where i you know drain out all the things that i've washed you can see that these things are still wet so i just had them washed so i'm waiting for them to drain out. that's my tiny kettle my frying pan that i used to steam um the leftover rice and beans i had then um you have this knife set both of them and then you have my spoon i'm sure if you have been seeing my kitchen on video you've not seen this thing so i just got that installed okay that's my mini oven there and then you come over to this side you will see where i have all my cups lined up okay so that i don't scatter everywhere when i'm looking for cups i have a lot of cups you know why i'm a mixologist right that's why i have a lot of these white glass cups and this is my ice ice cube um box of ice cube plate i don't know if you've seen this before yeah i like that they give me bigger sizes of ice cubes then i have all these other tea mugs i have this measuring cup for um, when i'm doing parfait okay this is my electric kettle this is my slicer grater jog you know all that good stuff and i have this here the gas cooker and you know I've shown you this. So I have my deep freezer and my fridge. Like I said, again, do not mind that idea is out because I still need to use it. Okay. So that's what you get from this door. When you come in from outside of my kitchen, this is what you see. Okay. Now we go to the shelf. I'm sure I've showed you guys, um, how I organized this shelf. I've showed you yesterday from when I was organizing. So this is a sneak peek. I know that once all these pastas are done, I am likely not, I am most likely to not, um, I don't know if this English I'm speaking is correct, but I'm most likely to not replace them. Okay, because yeah, I love pasta, but I'm not that crazy about it. <laughs> okay, so I think what will replace those empty cans will be beverages okay yeah so you've seen this and that's that then we go to the pantry guys we just took our light so everywhere is quite dark but i'm sure i've shown you um how i organize the pantry this is just a second look at it i took out um the other dispenser bottles seaway bottles rather because I need to replace them. I need to get new ones. So, yeah, I have this other thing for draining. But I won't be using it for draining because I have the other one. I don't want everywhere to be cramped up. So I just had to keep it there. I had to keep it here. Yeah. So, guys, that's basically everything. There was light just now and they took it. So this is my kitchen. And this is my kitchen tour i hope you enjoyed watching right 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 let me know what you think about this organization in the comment section and i'll see you later bye